Hello everybody, I'm Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love helping moms by sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So today we're back to um, recite our Ephesians memorization study and we will be reciting this week verses 1 through 20. Yeah, verses 1 through 20. Okay y'all, so... Make sure I know my stopping points. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become its saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather give thanks. For this we know, that no harmonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be ye not therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometime darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame to even speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is life. Wherefore he said, Awake them that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be ye not drunk with wine, where in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Giving thanks always for the things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so that was verses 1 through 20. And our next verses for this upcoming week will be verses 21 through 25. So, 21 is... Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And 25. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So that is verses 21 through 25. Those are the verses we will be memorizing this week. So I pray again that you all will do well um, as you memorize. Remember to give yourself grace. Usually for me with the last verses, I struggle a little bit until I add on the next verses. So always remember to give yourself grace. Don't beat yourself up over it if you're having a hard time um, with the scriptures. So I would like to thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.